And the angel of the Lord spoke unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south, unto the way that goes down from Jerusalem, unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, and a eunuch of great authority, under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Esaias the prophet. And the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him read the prophet Esaias. He said, Understand thou what thou readest? He said, How can I, except some man should guide me? He desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shear. So opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation his judgment was taken away, and who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speak the prophet this? Of himself or of some other man? And Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believe with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And they were come up out of the water. The Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip. But the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotas, and passing through, he preached in all the cities until he came to Caesarea.